Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at two of the best Steam Deck docks on the market, for very different reasons. To start out, I wanted to show you my stationary dock. This is the one I keep plugged into my 4K TV at all times. Pretty simple. It has a USB-C on the side for power, and all of the ports I'd ever need on the back. HDMI. USB 3 and a USB 2. On the other side here, there's also a LAN port. But the most important feature is right here on the top. This allows me to add a whole extra terabyte to my Steam Deck when docked. And of course, with external SSDs, you can plug a lot more storage into your Steam Deck. Down in the description, I'll have a link to a similar dock. This one isn't selling anymore. I've heard very good things about the JSOX M.2 dock. And while this is not the JSOX version, it is a pretty good clone. Like my last video, I'll be using a Peltier cooler. Just plug it into the USB 2 port right here. Power it on. A little bit of dust on the bottom. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's grab my Steam Deck and stick it right on there. Doesn't really get more simple than that. I love the look of the new JSOX backplate. But, back to the topic at hand. The Steam Deck dock is great for cases. There's plenty of room for the USB-C at the top. Turn it on and have some fun. In my last video, which I will have linked on screen, I modified this JSOX backplate so I could run the games I love to play on my Steam Deck with cooler temperatures and better fan speed. However, in that last video, I got comments saying that it wasn't a true test because I capped the frame rate to 30. The gameplay you're watching on screen now is Witcher 3 at ultra settings with an uncapped frame rate. As you can see, my GPU is at 99% usage the whole time. So we're really pushing my Steam Deck to the limit. And it still won't even crack anywhere near 80 degrees. Let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite game to play on Steam Deck? Right now, mine is MX vs ATV Legends, which we'll see later on in the video. Now to my second dock, which is much more portable, but still limited in some ways. This is the Enreal Air packaging. been super excited to get this in the mail. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, and let me tell you, this really transforms the Steam Deck into an entirely different device. Wow, look at that case. This is definitely on par with the Steam Deck case, and can easily be put into a bag or a backpack, 
no problem. It unzips nice and smoothly. Now we get a first look at the Unreal Air. From my experience, these glasses have been super comfortable to wear so far. The nose bridge holder is super adjustable. Once you get it adjusted to your face properly, it fits well. The arms here are adjustable to three settings. Kind of does feel like you're breaking them every time you click them in though. On the right side here you have three buttons. Two of them will control the brightness of the screens, and one is a power button. On the back here, we have two speakers right by our ears, and also this USB-C port for plugging into your Steam Deck, or any device with the USB-C. This is the cable included. I think it was a really nice touch going with a braided cable for this. I also like how one of the ends is angled for more comfort while you're wearing the Unreal Air. Mm, let me clean this. Give me a sec. Alright, let's try this again. This is the shell. It blocks out any outside light so you can get better contrast on your image. Here's a view of the glasses from the front. While it's not totally noticeable, you definitely can see that they aren't just regular glasses. Now let's turn on my Steam Deck and get the Unreal Air plugged in. just bought a bunch of new games on the Steam Spring Sale. Oh man, I love MX vs ATV Legends. It reminds me of playing MX vs ATV Unleashed on the PSP. But with these Unreal glasses, it takes the Steam Deck to a whole nother level. Well, because you have to plug the Unreal Air into the Steam Deck's only USB-C port, you unfortunately can't charge the Steam Deck and use the Unreal Air glasses at the same time, unless you buy a separate pass-through. Now, it's pretty hard to get this to focus, but I'm going to try my best to get on screen what you would see through the Unreal glasses. MX vs ATV has a first-person mode, that is so much fun on this Steam Deck, especially with the Unreal Air. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent playing this game in bed. The image quality of the Unreal Air's screens is really insane. You get a full 1080 display, and the colors are very vibrant. I would say on par with an OLED screen. From now on, I'll be using these glasses as my portable dock. Better believe if I ever go traveling, I'm definitely going to be putting this inside my backpack. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to watch our channel grow.